Hello everyone, in these how to test tips we're going to be talking about 5G cell-phase synchronization supported in OneAdvisor 800 and CellAdvisor 5G both having the same user interface. For this test we're going to be starting with the blind scanner. The blind scanner is going to be able to identify the signals being transmitted over the air. So I'm going to be setting the blind scanner for the frequency range of 3.7 GHz to 3.8 GHz. And I'm going to select NR and start searching. I found my signal, then I'm going to go into signal analysis. Here in signal analysis, the instrument automatically finds a signal and makes some power measurements. Now I'm going to be selecting cell phase synchronization. Now, this cell phase synchronization is going to be in that specific location. And the purpose is to make a comparison between the uh, timing of the, uh, my primary cell and my secondary or adjacent cells. Here I'm going to be setting the trigger to GPS to have an absolute primary reference clock as a reference. And also I'm going to be setting the limits to be in accordance to 3GPP compliance, which is 3 microseconds. So here I'm going to be getting the result, again, based on my primary radio, which is my sync reference, and then comparing all the adjacent radios performing a cell phase synchronization. And getting an easy uh, pass fail indicator identifying any cell that might be outside of my timing limits. Next, I'm going to be doing a network based cell phase synchronization test simply by selecting Sync Root Map. Here, the intent is to do a drive test and make a comparison from a network standpoint on cell phase synchronization. Here, I have a map of interest. I just select the play button and then here the instrument automatically is going to be getting my primary PCI which is the one that always is checking and is going to be making comparison against the adjacent PCIs or adjacent radios. And based on the measurement obtained, if it's within my three microseconds, then it's going to be plotting a green dot. If I have an instance in which a adjacent cell is outside of the limit, then it's going to be painted as a red dot, easily identifying where I have a problem. At the end of the test, I can just select any measurement point and I can obtain all the cell phase synchronization data. For more information, please visit Viavi 5G Test Solutions. Thanks for watching.